Flight Risk Music Eddie Van Hollen was born on January 26, 1955, in Nijmegen, Netherlands. His family immigrated to Pasadena, California, in 1962, when Eddie was seven. From a young age, Eddie was interested in music, especially the drums and piano. However, upon discovering the electric guitar, he became utterly obsessed. As a teenager in the early 1970s, Eddie practiced guitar for hours daily, developing his innovative two-handed tapping technique. Along with his older brother Alex on drums, Eddie formed a band called Mammoth. In 1974, they changed the name to Van Hollen after Eddie became the lead guitarist. Van Hollen started playing shows on the Sunset Strip, gaining a following with Eddie's blazing guitar solos. In 1977, Van Hollen was discovered by Gene Simmons of Kiss at one of their shows. This led to a record deal with Warner Bros. Van Halen's debut album came out in 1978 and was an instant hit, thanks to Eddie's groundbreaking guitar work. Songs like Eruption and Ain't Talkin' Bout Love featured Eddie's tapping, whammy bar dives, and lightning fast runs. He pioneered guitar techniques that influenced a generation of rock musicians. Over the next several years, Van Hollen released a string of multi-platinum albums, and Eddie was hailed as a guitar god. His custom-designed guitars, like the Frankenstrat and striped guitars, became iconic. However, Eddie struggled with alcoholism and drug abuse behind the scenes. Conflicts with lead singer David Lee Roth led to Roth leaving the band in 1985. In 1986, Van Hollen scored their first one hit with Why Can't This Be Love, featuring new singer Sammy Hager. During the late 80 seconds and early 90 seconds, Eddie continued innovating, even collaborating on a guitar with PV that incorporated synth pickups. Tragedy struck in 1995 when Eddie entered rehab for alcohol and cocaine addiction. After getting sober, Van Hollen reunited with David Lee Roth in 2007 for a massive reunion tour. The band continued touring over the next decade, but Eddie's health declined. He was diagnosed with tongue cancer in 2000, and the treatment damaged his tongue and mouth. In 2020, Eddie tragically passed away from throat cancer at age 65, leaving behind an unmatched musical legacy. He had shaped the sound of rock guitar more than any other player.